Hello, welcome back to our special edition on the 2009 Canadian Mining Hall of Fame inductees. This week, we're going to meet someone who's famous for finding world-class deposits in faraway lands, Roman Schlanka. Throughout his career, Schlenk has been all about risk. He's been involved with the discovery or development of tens of millions of ounces of gold and billions of pounds of base metals. I first met Roman about 30 years ago, and I reacquainted with him about 20 years ago. And at that time, I reminded him of our first meeting, which was when I tried to interest him in a joint venture of a mining property in BC, and that he turned me down. He asked if it was in production, and I said, well, no, it wasn't. And he said, well, I guess I was right. So, it's very true that Roman does have a nose for ore deposits. He spent a great deal of time in Tanzania negotiating the country's first outside commercial agreements. In fact, they were impressed enough with Roman to create a memo for circulation amongst other government departments describing what they should expect from mineral uh, companies in the future. And that legacy is still there because when I recently uh, was able to visit Tanzania, I had the occasion to meet the president of the country, and after he asked uh, how I was, he asked, how was Roman? I said he was fine, and the president, uh, Kikwedi, said, you know, he was one of the finest Canadians we ever met, and I readily agree. But things weren't always so easy for Schlenka. He found out the hard way that the road to success can be bumpy and dangerous. In the mid-80s, uh, together with a two-man military US escort, I, I did visit the gold site that Mike was talking about in Ecuador called Nambija that thousands of artisanals had invaded. As soon as our helicopter departed, the artisanals built a fire on the helicopter pad so that the chopper could not return and told us we did have to leave the mountain as they arrived and that is by foot. Uh, the negotiation wasn't 10 seconds. <laughs> it was immediate. Uh, to encourage our quick departure, they start pelting us with uh, stones and spears. I used to look back at this as the scariest experience in my career, but I was wrong. Standing here is worse. <laughs> Fortunately, the good experiences outweighed the bad, and Schlenka kept going. Partly the science, and partly the desire to see places, meet people, look for things, and uh, the challenge of, of trying to beat the odds. I've been to more than 70 countries, and uh, I have to say they all have a certain amount of interest. Uh, the, the, the ones that are most left the best impression with me, of course, are Tanzania and Brazil, where we have been quite successful. There's nothing better than being recognized by your peers, and when it comes to a surprise, it's even, it's even better. That's all for this week. Join me in two weeks with Grenville Thomas, a man with a thing for diamonds in the far north.